Welcome to a video that explains some of the terms that you've just taken a note on. Uh, we're going to label this diagram with some of the key terms. So for example, these highest points here on the curve, these are what we call the peaks or the maximums. Okay, so sometimes these high points are called peaks or a peak um, or, that's the word, or maximum. So you can add this into your diagram. Okay, our maximum values. Similarly, these points on the bottom, they have their own term. They're called the minimums or the troughs. So trough or minimum. Okay, so these points here would be the trough or the minimum values. All right, now we also talked about the cycle or the period um, on the previous page. So I'm just going to grab a different color here. If we complete one cycle, so one pattern of um, the graph before it starts to repeat, so I'm just going to outline this in green right here. Okay, so I'm going down, 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 down. Once I get back up to about here, the next cycle begins. So you'll see that we have a part of the graph that is just the first part that I've outlined in green repeated over again. So a cycle would cover this distance. So the cycle looks like it goes to about 60 seconds here. Okay, in terms of time, this is the height of a person uh, riding a Ferris wheel over time. So that would be a cycle. Um, and when we talk about the period, the period is how long horizontally it takes to complete one cycle. So the period in this case is 60 seconds because this graph covers 60 seconds horizontally before the graph starts to repeat itself. All right, something else we talked about on the previous on the uh, definition page was amplitude, and amplitude is half the distance between the max and the min. So our peak, our max, was here at 20, and our min was down here at 4. So that is vertically a distance of 16 units, and half of that would be 8 units. Now you'll notice that um, in our curve, um, this one in particular has sort of a, a horizontal line, which I'm actually going to draw in here. If you look at 12 right here, I'm going to just dot a horizontal line of y equals 12. And we're going to talk about that first before I talk about that amplitude. This line here, which in this case is y equals 12, it's a horizontal line of that, um, that is called the axis of the curve. So axis of the curve. And it is the horizontal line that's halfway between the max and the min points. Okay, so I'll write that in here. It's the horizontal line. So horizontal means directly left and right. Horizontal line that is halfway between the max and the min points. probably should have put the video on pause while I typed or wrote this in here and then you wouldn't have to wait for me to finish writing it. Okay so the horizontal line there so y equals 12 in this case is called the axis of the curve and the amplitude then we said the amplitude in this case would be 8 I'm going to use the letter A for amplitude. The amplitude is the distance between the max and the axis of the curve or between the min and the axis of the curve. So that's amplitude. So A is standing for amplitude or it's your total distance between max and min cut in half. So in this case the amplitude is equal to 8 and we're talking about the height and in meters, so this would be 8 meters. All right, so period is how long horizontally it takes for one cycle to be completed. The amplitude is the half 
uh, half the distance between the max and the min. So it's um, if I want the total distance, what I did here mathematically is I calculated 20, take away 4, and that gave me my 16, and then I divided by 2. Okay, so you can think of that as your max value. Your amplitude is really equal to your max. Take away the min, and then all of that divided by 2. Now, the other thing I'm going to go back to that axis of the curve. Um, these things are going to be really important when we start talking about our sinusoidal curves. The axis of the curve is halfway between the max and the min. So if I look at the number 12, the number 12 for our axis of the curve, 12 is halfway between 4 and 20. So it's really our midpoint. So our axis of the curve, to get that equation, axis of the curve, that really is equal to, or y equals, the max plus the min. It's really our midpoint, so we're averaging those things together. Remember, we've talked about midpoint lots, max plus min divided by 2. Okay, so that can be what you have on the front side of your page. You can flip that page over and try and complete that to the best of your ability.